Stephen, that's a bit, a bit of a frustrating one there. Some good chances at points as well, but ultimately disappointed with the loss. Yeah, we are. You know, I think we, uh, bar around about their goal, there was probably a 10 or 12 minute period and we couldn't get hold of the ball. You know, I felt that if anybody was going to win the game, it was going to be us. You know, it's um, it's disappointing because we make a long journey up. You know, we had a slight change of shape and I thought it worked really well for us, you know, with, with some good performances. But we just lacked that little bit of quality in the final third. You know, and I don't just mean the strikers, I mean the final ball into the box or a final cross at times when, you know, we get in behind and we work it well. Um, and then that's when you, the players have to take a little bit of responsibility in that aspect. You know, they have to relax a little bit, put the ball in the good areas. So, you know, a few of them have to go and work on you know, things like that, but um, overall generally pleased with it. But we lost the game because somebody didn't match a 1-2 and somebody didn't pick up a set play. That's what cost you. You, you. you addressed that change of shape there, Stephen. What did you make of the way that James Scott coming into the team and Dylan Mackin linked up at points together? It probably probably not well enough. You know, James is a young player trying to make his way in the game. So, you know, I felt at times he he done quite well. I, I didn't think really Dylan affected the game today at all, if I'm being honest. You know, he came off with a dead leg. I mean, that's nothing... Is it critical? Yeah, it is. I, I didn't think he had any effect in the game whatsoever, really. You know, he had a couple of shots where I think he probably can do better with. Um, James is still learning all the time. It's frustrating because we want to win games, we want to progress, but, you know, we have to be careful that he's only 16. Um, but certainly the aspects of his play were good. His, his hold-up play is getting better. He's bringing others into play, which is good. You know, they were too strong physically, probably physical centre half. So he, he's going to have to learn how to deal with playing against physicality. Um, he probably doesn't get as many efforts in goal as what I would like, or even on target as what I would like. So, you know, we're working on, on, on some aspects of his game, but we'll have to improve too. And looking at Ross County, Craig, what did you make of what was ultimately the winning goal? Was it a little bit too easy for you? Like? Yeah, it was. You know, Jeremy Millen didn't match up on two in the wide area. You know, and it's Jack's a first team player, so he has to deal with that. You know, if you don't do it on the Saturday, you get picked out. He didn't match up one two, brought down a cheap free kick. No idea whose man it was, but the ball comes into the box. That, you know, the willingness to go and head the ball. We saw on Saturday with the first team. Two set plays, two goals, wins you the game. Yeah. So if you're not prepared to go and head the ball and put your head in, you know, you can only ask people to do it. You know, if they don't want to do it, they don't want to do it. So I, I, again, I've no idea whose man it was, but for me, the free kick shouldn't have been given away in the first place. A little bit of a lazy play by Jack. Yeah, I think his standards have slipped in the last few weeks. He's looked a little bit nervous. Uh, he thought even today looked a little bit edgy at times. So, um, but we have to rebuild him. You know, we have to rebuild his confidence and give him a little bit more, more belief back. But it was a it was a sloppy free kick given away. On a bit of a side note, that result against the film has come through, there was a 3-0 victory there and finding that out just before the game, does that make this a little bit more disappointing that they didn't follow up? Well it does because we had an opportunity to, I think we went top of the league before the game, so we had a chance to extend the lead at the top. I think that's three or four times this year we've had the chance to do it and whether it's mentality or whether it's fear, I don't know, but for some reason we couldn't you know, get over the line. It's, it's sometimes it's just that little bit of composure in front of the goal. You know, there's a couple of balls coming across towards the end, our final ball towards the end. You know, we were patient, we moved it well, we worked in the areas. All you can ask is for people to try and put balls into the box. You'll be working crossing continually. You know, we haven't done it this, this week, but you know, we've worked continually on crossing. And the reliance of when you get into that position, you have to replicate what you do in training. And unfortunately, some of them did replicate what they do in training because they hit the goalkeeper all the time. So we have to go back to the drum board. Well, thanks for your time, Craig. Cheers. Cheers.